Hi guys, Sandra here from Create in Spain. As you can see, I have a crocodile big bite here. And that's because I bought it the other day for setting some eyelets that I wanted to use. And because I wanted a hole punch which had a greater distance from the edge. So with this one, you have six inch clearance or 15 centimeters pretty much. And yeah, it just makes it easier to put holes in the middle of things. Now, regards to the function of this, it's a pretty hefty piece of kit. It's really suitable for using on the desk. You can remove the feet if you wish to use it by hand, but I will keep it on my desk and I will just press it down with one or two hands from there. The handle here is silicone, which is nice. You have a ruler here and you have a slider here, which sets the function. If you slide it over to here, we have 1 8 holes and we have 3 16 holes. I do not know what those are in metric, but they haven't bothered to mark them in metric anyway. So slide over here and you get the setting function. All the grommets or eyelets I've got are ones which you would use the 3 16 hole for. I haven't got any of the small ones yet. I want to get some. I just haven't been able to find any. The tape measure is in inches only. And considering this came from the UK, even though I ordered it in Spain, it was shipped from the UK. I think that is a little bit silly. <laughs> it should at least come with a sticker or something to cover that and put centimeter measurements on it. The UK generally uses metric these days. Uh, metric was brought in, oh gosh, I think I was mm, um, very young at the time and I'm not very young now. So metric has been in the UK for many, many years and Europe uses metric as well. So if you're selling this in the UK and Europe, then really and truly you should have some metric stuff on it. So how well does it work? Well, I tried to use it and the results that I got were appalling. Look at this. I was going gently. I was trying to do my best. I wasn't going fast. I was squeezing gently. I could not get an unbroken eyelet. I then looked on Amazon thinking, have I bought something that isn't really going to do the job? Because uh, I thought, when I bought it, I thought, well, they've been around for a long time. They should work. If they didn't, surely they'd have been taken off the market by now. That's what I thought. Uh, so I had a look at some Amazon reviews and the Amazon reviews, most of them were like five stars. I thought, well, okay, it should be work. I mean, there were a lot of reviews, but there were a couple that were bad and there were some that said they'd sent it back because it didn't work and blah, blah, blah. blah. So I was looking through the reviews and I found one which had actually given a five star review, but said that they'd had difficulty in using it to start with. They'd been using the 1 8 punch and were trying the settings that were recommended for the 1 8 but it wasn't working. And they tried a different setting and it did. So I thought, ah, maybe, just maybe, I need to use some different settings. And I have a variety of eyelets that I purchased. And there's some there which are two section ones and some which are only one. And I bought... Whoop, throwing them around the room. I bought a selection because I wasn't sure whether there was a difference in the quality of the eyelets or not, or whether some sizes would work better than others. So I had some which are marked four millimeters, some which were marked five, and some which were unmarked, which is very useful, not. And I just started playing around with the settings to see what would work. And lo and behold, I managed to do, I've uh, got a couple here on this scrap, I managed to get some decent results. And all it is, is that you need to play with the settings. Now this, I believe, is simply because I'm in Europe. Because when I looked at the instructions again, as it happened, when I picked it up, I picked it up facing the wrong page. And I noticed that on this one, the eyelets are in millimeters, which they're not on the English version, but they are here. And it says 4.76 and 3.18. Do they honestly think we're going to get 4.76 measurement eyelets or 3.18? Because I don't. 
I could find four, I could find five, haven't found three yet, although you can buy them online. I certainly haven't come across 4.76 or 3.18. So I think that this is a European and English problem because our eyelets are not the same size. It's as simple as that. But nowhere on the packaging does it say you have to buy We Are Memory Keepers eyelets or indeed that you have to buy Imperial sized eyelets that no other ones will work and that's because other ones will work you'll just have to work out what the settings but there was nothing in the information to say that so yes it works it works very well once you've sussed out what settings to use and I shall be using it quite happily I do still wish that they'd put metric along the base because you know, even if they just gave a sticker to put on that would have been an improvement I will have to make my own, of course. But other than that, it works really well and it's not difficult to use because of the spring action. It really does put down quite a lot of force. And as long as you're using the right setting, it will close an eyelet without any problem at all. But for those of you in the UK or in the rest of Europe, if you're having problems with your crocodile, that is most probably why. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.